Continuing our series on the attributes of God, today we want to talk about the holiness of God. Many scholars and theologians who have looked at these various attributes of God say this is the core attribute of God. To be honest, I don't know if I agree with that. I think all of it is the core of God. But this is the one that certainly is illuminated in Scripture that shines brightly, the holiness of God. The holiness means separate or other than us. He's not like us who are dabbling in the things of this world, who are corrupted by carnal minds, who are frustrated by temptations around us. He is other than that. He is separate than that. That makes him pure, clean. Everything he thinks, everything he does, everything he, every action of his, every will, thing that he wills is holy, holy, holy. There's nothing in scripture, that's what these ancient scholars talk about, why holiness might be considered one of the primary attributes of God, is because nowhere in scripture is there's this tripart um, declaration of who God is. He is in Revelation and in Isaiah and other places, the, the scriptures cry out, holy, holy, holy. Three times it's mentioned. And in the ancient Hebrew writings, when something was tripled like that, it was meant to have the superabundant significance of it. So uh, the Bible doesn't say God is love, 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 or that he's grace, 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 although he is all those things. But it says he is holy, 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 trying to stir our hearts to show us the deep significance of the power of the holiness of God.